So in advance of that, Channel 4's Vic Michelucci have you, has you covered. One of the things that Vic did for us is ride along with uh, some of the lifeguards who are out there trying to keep everyone safe. Vic is joining us live right now. Vic. Kent and Mary, so many people out here. We have seen thousands just passing behind us on First Street, and the party is only getting bigger. But the lifeguards are making sure that everybody is safe here. They are worried about the heat. They're also worried about the large crowds and missing kids. That's why they have you covered. They are working around the clock here in Jacksonville Beach, along with firefighters and police to make sure everyone goes home safe. The busiest day of the year at the beach. Tens of thousands flocking to the coast to celebrate Independence Day. And there's about 50 lifeguards on duty in Jacksonville Beach today to keep everyone safe. Teach your kids if they ever have an emergency, if they can never find the parent, to go to the lifeguard. And if you know the parent cannot find the kid, we want the parents to come to the lifeguard immediately. If they cannot find a lifeguard to call 911 immediately. Lieutenant Max Urvanian's one of the guards working around the clock. He says it's a challenge because there are so many people and the temperatures are topping out at a blistering 95 degrees. It means many will move their festivities to the water. If you don't know how to swim, don't go anywhere past your ankles because anything can happen from, you know, shin deep going all the way to Chesty. There have been a number of drownings at local pools recently. In the past two months, six children have died in the Jacksonville area. Lifeguards at the beach are working hard to keep that startling statistic from growing. My advice is know your limits. If you're not a strong swimmer at a pool, then you're definitely not a strong swimmer in the ocean. Fireworks in Jack's Beach start at 9 o'clock. And because the pier's shorter, there's now a safety zone for a few blocks around it. Police have the area closed. And I want to let you know it is going to be hard to park this year because there's more construction, there's some infrastructure changes, and because of that pier being closer, it's much smaller. That means that they had to block off the parking lots here adjacent to the pier, so a lot less parking spots. But the good news is you can come in here to the safety zone and you are able to watch the fireworks show, so that is certainly good news. Coming at, up at 6 o'clock, I'm going to ride along with Jacksonville Beach Police, tell you what they're looking out for on this holiday. For now, we're live. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.